excuse the noise of the expressway behind me. It's pretty loud. So I'm here at the Grand River. It's the last day of September 2022. Got my Sport Yak out today. Um, I've used this little boat quite a lot over the summer, but each time I've fished it's been more appropriate to just use the trolling motor and battery. Um, it's fall now and I'm down at the Grand River to do some salmon fishing. And today's the first day where it's been more appropriate to use the gas motor. So the gas motor's just been sitting, sitting in the box for quite a while. So today um, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna run the motor and do some of the break-in period, see how fast it can move this little boat, um, Suzuki 2.5 horse portable outboard. And the second part of today of course is going to be trying to catch a salmon so this is typically you know pretty hot time of year for salmon fishing here in west michigan but the weather has been very very warm which may have pushed the salmon run back a little bit so i don't know how many fish i'll see in the river today i'm going to try to go down to some creek mouths where i used to fish when i was a kid and anchor there and uh Put some crankbaits, probably mostly storm hot and tots in the water and see if I can catch some salmon. So if the salmon fishing is a bust, we will cruise around and just do some exploring and some sightseeing and hopefully get the uh, break-in period, if not done, then a good chunk of that done. So thanks for coming along with me this morning. Let's uh, get out there and see if this motor starts. bit to get it started the very first time but it's running beautifully seems like a perfect match for this little boat Start right about here. So I'm anchored here at the mouth of a creek. I've seen three or four salmon surface, and I've seen one big king salmon jump completely out of the water. Um, that was super exciting. So I'm seeing a few fish here and there, but they're kind of few and far between. I'm not, I'm not seeing fish rising all the time like you will during the heart of the run. So um, there are definitely fish in here, um, but I'm not really sure about the numbers at this point. So I'm gonna stay here at the mouth of this creek where I saw the big king jump and give it a try here. I've got a Rapella um, crankbait on here as well as a Storm Hot and Tot, one of the classic um, salmon lures, steelhead and salmon lures used here in West Michigan. So got one of each on. I've taken a few casts with a little Cleo spoon as well, but no hit. So 
sometimes salmon fishing is a waiting game so let's uh, relax here on a beautiful morning almost no wind at all 40s in the morning 65 this afternoon so let's just relax and give it a couple hours and hopefully we get a hit sometimes you have to look at salmon and steelhead fishing almost like deer hunting i mean if you get one on even during a fishing trip you can really consider that successful just like seeing a deer during a deer hunting trip really just makes that trip successful to me so requires a lot of patience some days Hopefully you can see the rings in the water up there a king just jumped upstream of me about 40 feet completely cleared the water It's been a while since I saw one, so that was very exciting. This motor seems like a perfect match to this boat. I'm going downstream at idle speed. You're supposed to run it at idle speed for the first 15 minutes of operation, so I'm not going to crank it up anytime soon here. But I'm going to move to a different spot to another creek mouth, I think. Give that a try. This sweet little motor uh, is brand new and has been starting pretty much on the first pull each time once I figured out <laughs> to turn the gas on, which I just did right there. There she goes. Sweet little motor. I think I've made it through the first 15 minutes of the break-in period, so now I can uh, open her up to half throttle according to the manual. I'm going upstream here, so against a fairly heavy current. That's about a quarter throttle, I think. Moves right along. I think this is going to be a sweet setup just for exploring lakes and rivers. Maybe even doing some rough country camping. A lot of room in here for a tent and other things. So yeah, I'm really pleased all around with this whole setup. Fits in the back of my 2020 Honda Ridgeline like a glove. No trailer to mess with. No trailer to maintain. No trailer lights to maintain. No trailer to put a plate on. No trailer wheel bearings to repack. Probably I don't like trailers all that much. Ta-da! Back at the launch. Now for the fun part, loading her up. It only takes a few minutes, so not too bad. <laughs> 